Sweet Valley High was so popular that the same month Book 30 came out, they started the Sweet Valley Twins series for younger readers. Written by fictional author Jamie Suzanne, the series lasted for over 140 books, if you include the various special editions. It starts with 12-year-old twins Elizabeth and Jessica Wakefield coming home from school. Jessica complains she hates gym class because she's forced to look at a fat girl named Lois Waller. That ugly tub is about as graceful as a rhino. She ruins class for kids with real talent. I think we can safely say Jessica is a horrible person, even when she's a middle schooler. Argofunk book review, Argofunk book review. Elizabeth is excited to start a sixth grade newspaper, while Jessica's excited to hang out with a group of girls called the Unicorn Club. That's kind of a dumb name for a club of eighth graders, but Jessica thinks they're the coolest girls ever. She wishes she could join them. Elizabeth and Jessica get into a fight at dinner when Jessica says Liz's friends are nerds. You know, this book does a terrible job of convincing me the twins are best friends. Every day when the twins go to school, Bruce Patman catcalls them. Elizabeth complains about this, while Jessica likes it. Elizabeth notes this is new. Jessica didn't like boys a few months ago. In other words, Jessica was normal until she started puberty. That explains a lot. Jessica learns more about the unicorns. They always wear purple, they have regular slumber parties, and there are 12 girls in the group, although we only see four of them at most. The unicorns give Jessica three pledge tasks. She has to steal a teacher's lesson plan book, she has to get three girls to enter the boys' bathroom, and she has to dress differently from Elizabeth. Jessica performs the tasks without too much trouble. Her I'm different from Elizabeth makeover is a huge hit with everyone. Jessica tries a second makeover for ballet class, with a purple leotard and purple leg warmers. She insists it's cool, but it actually sounds kind of ugly. The teacher, Madame Andre, does not like Jessica's outfit at all. She criticizes Jessica. Jessica is so upset she does badly in class, which makes her more upset. Elizabeth is shocked to learn Jessica joined the unicorns without telling her first. Elizabeth complains to Mom, who helps her realize that it's okay for the twins to have separate interests. That's part of growing up. I forgot to mention there's a subplot with Steven, their older brother who just entered high school. There is ongoing gossip because Steven is dating Roberta Manning! Can you believe it? I have no idea who Roberta Manning is, so these scenes mean nothing to me. Jessica asks the unicorns to let Elizabeth join the club. When they refuse to entertain that notion, Jessica makes it seem like her parents will force her to quit if Liz can't join. The unicorns agree to give Elizabeth a pledge task. I don't know why they only give her one task when they gave Jessica three. Maybe it's because the author ran out of room. Elizabeth's challenge is to prank Lois Waller by giving her an ice cream sundae with shaving cream. Elizabeth refuses to do it because it's cruel. Jessica doesn't want to look bad in front of the other unicorns, so she pretends to be Elizabeth and does the prank. Lois is so badly humiliated, she drops out of school for a week. Poor Lois. Jessica feels bad while impersonating Elizabeth. I should note, she doesn't feel bad because she's doing something wrong. She feels bad because she's forced to be nice to a fat girl. That's very difficult for Jessica. Jessica still fails to impress the teacher in ballet class. Elizabeth convinces her to keep trying, and Jessica vows to be in a ballet recital. Elizabeth attends a unicorn club meeting. She feels like she's swimming in oatmeal when the unicorns gossip about boys and bras. Ellen mentions pranking Lois, and Elizabeth instantly realizes the truth of what happened. 
Elizabeth is furious. She goes home and complains to Mom. Oddly enough, Elizabeth doesn't mention that Jessica impersonated her, and now the entire school thinks she's a bully. Instead, Elizabeth says the Unicorn Club meeting was boring. She didn't like it. Is that really her number one complaint right now? Elizabeth gives Jessica an angry lecture, and she blackmails Jessica into apologizing to Lois. The twins are given separate bedrooms, and there's gossip because Stephen left Roberta for Mandy, whoever she is. Elizabeth and Lois team up to prank the Unicorn Club. The unicorns are humiliated when they eat shaving cream sundaes. You could say they got their just desserts. Even though Elizabeth and Jessica spent the whole book fighting, they agree they're best friends. Jessica reaffirms her commitment to get the lead role in the ballet recital in the next book. The end. Post-book follow-up. I wasn't a huge fan of this book because it had a lot of Jessica being a terrible person. It would have been a much better ending if Jessica had decided to support her loving sister instead of sticking with the mean girls. The ending where the twins say they're best friends is entirely unearned, and I noticed that Jessica never apologizes for impersonating Elizabeth. That's because Jessica isn't sorry she did it, she's sorry she got caught. I halfway like the story of the twins struggling with the fact that they're growing apart. The storyline doesn't quite work, because we never get a chance to see the twins together as a pair. They already have separate interests and friend groups at the start of the book. I kind of wish we did get to see the twins back when they were best friends. I didn't like the end of the book. The last 10 to 20 pages felt sloppy to me, like they were written separately, or the author was rushing to meet a deadline. I would get rid of one of the final chapters in favor of having a chapter where Liz does three pledge tasks. My wife thinks this series is a marketing gimmick to get kids hooked on Sweet Valley books while they're still young. As for me, I usually like the Sweet Valley Twins series more than the Sweet Valley High series. Since the twins are in 6th grade, there's a lot less inappropriate content and overdone boyfriend drama. It's more of a sitcom for kids than a soap opera for adults. Well, that's not the case with this book. I, I would have liked this book a lot better if it had gone in that kid-friendly direction. Instead, it's mostly Jessica being mean as she joins a group of mean girls who encourage her meanness. You can pretend Jessica and the unicorns learned their lesson at the end, but trust me, they didn't. They will be just as bad, if not worse, in future books. I give Sweet Valley Twins number one, Best Friends, a 3 out of 10.